Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Erin Keneally, and I'm a medical doctor. I'm the medical director at the Center for New Medicine and Cancer Center for Ealing. But what do I really do? I'm really a detective. So Dr. Keneally has um, shared with me the information in regards of Dave's protocol. And so I'm really excited because he's our perfect candidate, someone who is willing and yet really recognizes that the road that he's going on is going to lead him more to aging faster, potentially type 2 diabetes, or potentially even immunity issues like cancer. He realizes that, and so what I love about it is he's really embracing this change. Now, of course, we're going to have a lot of changes, and the first we're going to do is the thing we're going to do is we're going to adjust his diet and put him on what we call a keto adaptive diet. That means getting the glucose down as low as possible so that we can activate his enzymes so that he can use fat for fuel, which is a clean energy. And this is what we're doing is trying to increase his energy. He had inflammation, he has fatigue, and of course, uh, probably about a good 40 to 50 pounds that are causing him a lot of inflammation and even causing him to have an imbalance in his hormones. So we're gonna be not only working with his diet, but also getting him to exercise so that he can increase his testosterone levels um, as well as his muscle mass, which is so important for breaking down fats for fuel, keeping that metabolism going very nicely when you exercise, making it also healing his cells so that he's more permeable to allow the sugars that are in his blood to be moved and make into energy because he's got a blood sugar issue that we definitely want to focus our attention on. So we're going to be working with his diet, we're going to be working with exercise, and even his belief system in the regards does he really feel that he can attain these results for the rest of his life. So we may be having to reframe some of the chatter that goes on in his brain that kind of undermines his ability to do things. So I'll be working with him on that level as well. So we're really going to take this in a holistic level from stress management to exercise to his diet and really creating a lot of joy and happiness around this because this is going to increase his lifespan. He's going to feel fantastic. And who doesn't want to have that? Hi, I'm Liliana Partita, Certified Nutritionist for the Center for New Medicine. I'm so excited to present another great meal. Now, many times I ask my patients to take their lunch to work and they're like, well, I always have sandwiches every time I take my lunch because obviously it's something that's very easy. I can put some meat, slop it in between two pieces of bread. It stays well without getting gushy or mushy. So, you know, sandwiches are really great. And also too, we all have a relationship with bread, honestly. And unfortunately, the breads that are on the market, not only are they made oftentimes with an inflammatory type of a grain, wheat flour, white flour, oats, barley, those are what we call gluten products and many of our patients are highly sensitive and have the inflammation uh, throughout the body but specifically in their gut. So we don't use any gluten at all. And then what I like to do is take it a step further and not use any grain at all because even gluten free does not mean sugar free. For example, gluten free and regular flour have exactly the same carbohydrate content. But almond flour or coconut flour or nut flours, literally they have a third of the glucose. For example, a quarter cup of coconut flour or almond flour is only four carbohydrates. But a, a, about a quarter cup of regular or gluten flour is going to be 24. So there's a huge difference. So our goal is to really be able to provide the least amount of sugar in everything we do so that we can reverse all of the conditions that we're looking at that sugar feeds. Now, most everybody, I think at this point, recognizes that sugar is the primary fuel of cancer. And we have many patients that are dealing with immunity issues, so we're very sensitive so that we can offer them swap outs and clean swap outs so that they can feel really good about eating these foods and not feeling fearful, which many of them do. So what I've done is I've made a really nice almond bread, and honestly, it's just two cups of almond flour. It's some coconut oil with a, a butter in it, a little bit of xanthan gum as a binding agent, and a little bit of salt and some herbs, and I love using uh, poppy seeds on top with a little bit of salt on there just to make it a lot of fun. And honestly, you can do so much with this bread. You could add Parmesan cheese to it. You could add different herbs if you don't like the rosemary, and that's what I've made. It's kind of a rosemary bread. Now, one of the things that I want to do is I want to create a swap out lunch for the Dave. 
and he's one of our patients that really, really is enthusiastic about losing weight and reversing many of his health conditions. So he's letting me coach him through, but I told him, you know, we might have to make some adjustments and he's willing to do that. So I'm gonna take a lunch over to his office and let's see if he's gonna be willing to swap out what he normally brings to lunch that he has a real affection for, but potentially will realize after I talk to him a little bit about why we would swap out this for that, he may decide, yes, that would be a really, really good option. So once again, I'm gonna go ahead and, now you wanna let this bread um, you know, cool down so I wouldn't really take it right out of the oven and make a sandwich. What's beautiful about this bread, it stays really nice in the refrigerator. It is a live bread, so you don't wanna keep it outside because it will grow mold. But for a week in the refrigerator, 10 days, freezer, no problem. You wanna cut this very thin because it is dense. And what's nice about this is you stay full for a long period of time because there's so much fat in it from the almond flour as well as protein. So almost a slice of this is a perfect food, equal protein, actually more protein than it has carbohydrates. So again, this is another thing that you absolutely cannot go wrong with. Now I'm gonna go ahead and slice it up here. And, um, and as I said, you don't need these very thick because the thicker they are, it's not the better they are. So the thinner is gonna be a little bit better for you. So I'm gonna just go ahead and just make these as kind of enough, thin enough, but not too thin that I can't make a nice little sandwich out of this. Now, a lot of times when you go to lunch at a restaurant, they'll say, you know, half a salad, half a sandwich and soup or half a sandwich and a salad. So that's exactly what we're going to do today because my motto is 50% cooked and 50% raw. So we have all of those wonderful enzymes and chlorophyll when we are eating any animal product because we're going to put turkey in this wonderful little sandwich. So again, I'm going to go ahead and put this over here. Now you can easily do open face and have two just open face sandwiches. But again, I'm gonna be taking this over to Dave, so we wanna have it packed really nicely. So he's at work, he doesn't wanna, you know, primal eating and things fall all over, he's just gonna to wanna to pick it up and put it in his mouth. So, but when you're at home, you can do an open face sandwich and it will be really fun. So, okay, so I've got the bread here. I'm gonna go ahead and set that there. Now, I just have some organic turkey, nitrate free. And of course, because, you know, it's been sliced off of a turkey, so it's not processed. So this is what you want. You don't wanna have basic lunch meats or ham. Um, it's gonna have nitrates in it, sodium, high sodium levels, and oftentimes um, preservatives that really are not gonna be good for your health. Our goal is everything you eat is anti-inflammatory. So let's just bring this plate over here, and I'm gonna, I have some great mayonnaise. Now, of course, I'm like the detective too. I'm constantly reading labels because I wanna know what's gonna go in my body. And so a lot of the mayonnaise is have canola oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, and those are more of a hydrogenated oil because they have to be heat treated so high that they become oxidized. So really you want a good mayonnaise that has uh, either olive oil or has avocado oil. And in one of the recipes, I'll make that uh, mayonnaise myself and you'll just see how quick and easy it is to make your own mayonnaise. And that's gonna be a lot of fun too. So let's just start with just a little bit of some mayonnaise. And I know, because I talked to his wife, that he likes mayonnaise and mustard, but he doesn't like much of anything else. I wanted to put a little pesto, and she said, nah, he might not go for that, right? And so, now again, you can see that this sandwich is a little small. So when I go to take him his, his, his sandwich, I'll probably make him another one so that he, we make sure that he feels very satisfied because honestly, when you're on any kind of a diet regime that's different, then what is the most important thing is you wanna feel full and satisfied. And so again, if you're dieting and thinking I'm always about restrictive, we don't want restrictive. We want the most flavor, the biggest bang for our buck. So you're not gonna to have to give up any flavor at all. So let's start with just putting a little bit of mustard on there. And again, this is a gluten-free mustard and I, and I got this at the health food store. Kind of jumping all over the place there, but that's okay. We don't mind a little, a little extra lush here. Now the thing about these kind of breads too, because they don't have any gluten, and gluten is very addictive, it has gluten morphine in it, so literally it makes you crave these foods. So when you eat this, you don't feel like you need another you know, hit of sugar in a couple of hours, which is really what we want. We want our food to last us for a minimum of four to five hours so that we can utilize and um, get to using a little bit of our fat for fuel in between our meals. We don't need to eat as much as we do. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put, now you'll notice that I'm putting, this is a small little sandwich, but it's gonna be really packed because I'm putting at least three to four ounces of turkey in here. So he's gonna feel very full even though it's a teeny small little sandwich. 
I'm gonna go ahead and a little bit of pepper on here. I think he'll enjoy that. And I'm gonna add a little avocado as well. So we got that rolling up pretty high. You can see that's a pretty high little uh, sandwich there. But I guarantee you what, he's gonna be able to get his mouth around that, no problem. All right, so let's just add a little avocado to this. Who doesn't love avocado on a sandwich? I love avocado. I eat av absolutely avocado on absolutely everything. So there we go. Now look at that mountain high sandwich. So it's exciting because it already looks delicious, okay? Now, of course, since I say 50% raw and 50% cooked, let's just add a little salad on the side. I think that will make it so you have a real sense of satiety because you're gonna sit there and eat for a longer period of time because you got a lot of fiber. So it's important to chew your food really well, but at the same time, to have enough stuff that you feel full. So I'm just gonna basically make it really the simplest ever. I'm just gonna put some um, organic baby greens on there and I'm gonna add a little bit of red onion and a little bit of um, radish in there. And so oftentimes I try to be very, very low on anything that could cause inflammation or allergies. So I'm not using tomatoes in here and I'm not using cucumbers that oftentimes have what's called an anti-nutrient in it. They're called lectins. So I'm trying to, because we're really working on days of inflammation. So I'm not going to add any lectin oriented foods in here. And those are sticky proteins that can cause inflammation to the gut. And we'll talk a lot about that in another episode, okay? So just a few little radishes on there. So again, this little teeny salad here is about maybe three carbohydrates. And the bread, the sandwich is maybe all together about a good six. So we're really, really gonna be under even what we would say would be allowed for him. So, but he's gonna feel full and that's all we really care about. Let's just, just add a very simple dressing. This is a coconut vinaigrette dressing, very simple. All right, so that looks pretty darn good there. We've got a little pickles on the side for you know those like myself who like it. And it's always nice to have a little bit of fermented foods on there, even if they are pickles or even a little sauerkraut. Very good for the biome of the gut. Let's just cut this thing in half because that will make it a lot easier to eat nice and mile high here, but we got it there beautifully. Okay, now look at that. I think he's gonna be really happy to swap out his lunch when he realizes potentially this is gonna be a third of the amount of glucose that he has in his little lunch sack. So we'll see, let's see if he's gonna be up to swapping it out. Patients ask me every single day about water, but water from your tap? Let's get real. Please, please take care of yourself, save yourself by getting Echo. This machine will put in the activated hydrogen molecule that stimulates the anaerobic organism that we now know has everything to do with your life. Do yourself a favor, get good clean water powered with Echo. My favorite 30 minutes of every day is starting with my sauna. For a stressful day, this is probably one of the best things you could ever get. An amazing platform for natural healing. Oftentimes when people do the weight loss programs, they start feeling like a little yucky during it. If you create or use the infrared sauna, for instance, and you're detoxing along with the weight loss, you won't feel yucky, you'll start, the weight will start peeling off. If you want to learn more about infrared technology, contact us directly. The information is on the bottom of the screen. Hi, my name is Tom Julian, the author of The Shepherd. You know, there's hundreds of thousands of people who have felt like the title character of The Shepherd, Tony Castanelli. Alone, no family to count on, friends are becoming few and far between. But God has a way of looking down on those lonely hearts and somehow in his own beautiful way, bring people into our lives who can help us find the direction and purpose that we all need and the happiness we all desire. This is that story. It's a simple read, but it's an inspiring moment. Buy yours today. Being healthy and happy isn't always easy. Stress at home, at work, trouble sleeping, toxins in the environment, even healthy foods can be lacking vital micronutrients due to chemicals and depleted soil. American Nutraceuticals Proven Solutions can help detoxify, reduce stress, and guide the way to optimum health. Balance, restore, rejuvenate naturally with American Nutraceuticals. Available from leading healthcare professionals and at 888vitality.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Aaron Keneally, and I have some exciting news to tell you. I have launched my book, The Cancer Revolution. Do you know that cancer takes 10 years to develop in your body? That means you have 10 years of opportunity 
to prevent and reverse early cancer, the cancer revolution. It will empower you to change your life and turn this disease around. Hey Liliana, thanks for stopping by. Thank you for having me on your lunch. I know your schedule is really tight, but you know, I told you I was going to be popping in on you on a weekly basis to see how our progress is going. Well, good to see you. This is my humble abode. This is where I do architecture uh, along with the staff and uh, let's do some lunch. So Dave, how long do you sit at your desk during the day? I'm obviously an office person that sits eight hours a day at a desk or in a conference room. I walk between things in conference rooms, but I'm always sitting. I do have, I do have this stand-up mode on this and I've been using it fairly often, a couple, three hours a day. Okay, excellent. So one of the things we wanna do is work on your circulation. So really sitting is the new cigarette smoking. It's that hazardous to your health and structurally it's really difficult on the back and it creates a little bit of tension through the spinal erector muscles. And so that was an area that when we did some exercises, you were pretty weakened. So I want you to stand up like every hour on the hour. So maybe we work an hour sitting and then stand up for at least 20 minutes of that hour. And you know, we showed you those exercises and again, this little desk here, it was a perfect place to just do some wall push-ups. So then again, you know, it might look kind of funny, but who cares because we're trying to get you in the best shape you've ever been, so we take every opportunity. You can just come over here and you get a little tension in your neck from sitting there and your neck slightly forward. Just come over here and just step your feet back and then again, keep a neutral alignment and just come down and then just out. All right. Exhale like you Smell the papers. Exactly. <laughs> and what it also do is it just allows for you to release some of that carbon dioxide that gets on our lungs because we're always, when we're working, we're tensed up. And so again, we really want to have ah, the opportunity to just release and let go. So if you're ready, let's, I don't want you to miss your lunch. So let's go ahead and yeah, let's go do some lunch. lunch and let's talk about your progress. Okay, okay. let's do it. This is what I normally eat every every noon, pretty much. I'm a tur okay. turkey sandwich fan. So okay. that, uh, a little bit of hummus and some chips and uh, some fruit apple or some uh, some berries or something like that. Because we were talking about balancing your blood sugar and keeping your carbohydrates to really no more than 20 carbohydrates at each meal so that we can start forcing your body to use fat for fuel. So what we're gonna do, and of course this isn't anything to have to do with um, being bad or good because that's not the mindset we wanna take. We wanna just take the learning as knowledge so that we can make better choices next time, okay? So normally when we look at this, we say, wow, this is totally cool. This is the four food group. Pretty much you have everything that would be considered standard food group. But for our intention, what we're trying to do, remember what I said is that we wanna make sure that we keep the glucose down as low as we can. So what I'd like to do is demonstrate to you how much sugar is in what you consume. So let's just start out by looking at your bread. So now I have two pieces, so that's gonna be 36 grams of sugar, right? Uh-oh, Okay, so let's already. start. let's start with that, 36 <laughs> grams of sugar. And we're just gonna make, we're gonna have fun here because it makes it so much easier when we have a visual, okay? So we have five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, there's your sandwich, okay? Now that apple there is a medium-sized apple, so I'm gonna say a normal medium-sized apple is gonna be 18 grams of carbohydrates. So that's a little smaller, so let's just give it five and 10. Now, I want you to count how many chips are on there. Call it 10. Okay, so now we got another two sugar cubes there. Now, two tablespoons of hummus is exactly four carbohydrates. So if each two tablespoons is four carbs, so let's just kind of say we get another two there, all right? Okay. I'm gonna show you a swap out, okay? And I'm gonna see if you are willing to be able to swap your lunch out for the one that I brought. Healthy and happy isn't always easy. Stress at home, at work, trouble sleeping, toxins in the environment, even healthy foods can be lacking vital micronutrients due to chemicals and depleted soil. American Nutraceuticals proven solutions can help detoxify, reduce stress, and guide the way to optimum health. Balance, restore, rejuvenate naturally with American Nutraceuticals. Available from leading healthcare professionals and at 888vitality.com. Hi, I'm Dr. Lee Aaron Keneally, and I have some exciting news to tell you. I have launched my book, The Cancer Revolution. Do you know that cancer takes 10 years to develop in your body? That means you have 10 years of opportunity to prevent and reverse 
early cancer, the cancer revolution. It will empower you to change your life and turn this disease around. My favorite 30 minutes of every day is starting with my sauna. For a stressful day, this is probably one of the best things you could ever get. An amazing platform for natural healing. Oftentimes when people do the weight loss programs, they start feeling like a little yucky during it. If you create or use the infrared sauna, for instance, and you're detoxing along with the weight loss, you won't feel yucky, you'll start, the weight will start peeling off. If you want to learn more about infrared technology, contact us directly. The information is on the bottom of the screen. Hi, my name is Tom Julian, the author of The Shepherd. You know, there's hundreds of thousands of people who have felt like the title character of The Shepherd, Tony Castanelli. Alone, no family to count on, friends are becoming few and far between. But God has a way of looking down on those lonely hearts and somehow in his own beautiful way bring people into our lives who can help us find the direction and purpose that we all need and the happiness we all desire. This is that story. It's a simple read, but it's an inspiring moment. Buy yours today. Patients ask me every single day about water. But water from your tap? Let's get real. Please, please take care of yourself, save yourself by getting Echo. This machine will put in the activated hydrogen molecule that stimulates the anaerobic organism that we now know has everything to do with your life. Do yourself a favor, get good clean water powered with Echo. I know that around four to five hours you're going to get hungry again and rather than having those chips and crackers that will bring you up and then bring you straight down and set you up for more cravings, I'm going to give you a fat snack. Now I know that sounds really weird, but this is going to be the most delicious fat snack you have ever had. What's better than guacamole, okay? The carbohydrate in this is going to be three or four. So let's just be, take one, okay? So let's just have a look at this. And that's just going to be some almond butter and it's going to be some celery. So that could be just a little teeny top my meal out with a little sweet so my brain is really happy, okay? We don't want to deny the brain of any what we would consider emotional craving food because then you're going to end up with a chip, you're going to end up with one of those little candies in your mouth and we don't want to do that, okay? Now instead of having chips for the guacamole, what I did is I just brought you some vegetables. You've got two celery, you've got a very small cucumber, a little bit of cucumber. We're going to say at the most we're looking at two carbs, two of these little Probably chips. wouldn't eat all of those, but okay, we'll go on. Right, and then you can have them for your snack in the afternoon That's you want to munch on something that's very very low sugar because a lot of water in the experience. Okay. So now we've got three little sugar cubes so far, right? So now what we're going to do is we're going to take out the sandwich. Now the sandwich is awesome. Now the thing about this, it's made with almond flour. That's made with a gluten flour, so it can cause inflammation to your body, which we already know your inflammation markers are too high, so we want to avoid all gluten. Now these two pieces of bread all together are going to be only one sugar cube. Okay. Two carbohydrates per slice rather than 17 per slice. So that is pretty big, isn't it? But I think you're going to love mine because it's extra special because it's soft and made with a lot of love. So we're going to get your wife and she's going to learn how to do these things. What I want you to do is bite into that sandwich and I want you to tell me what you think in regards to that bread, okay? Lots of turkey. Still still got mayonnaise. Still got cheese. Do you want any lettuce? you got to have a little greens on there actually. So let's uh, Are you a lettuce man or no? Sometimes. Sometimes? Well, let's to be a little bit more of a lettuce dude, all right? <laughs> so there you go, put it in there. We gotta have a little bit of live food in there. Excellent. Now it's nice, it's just almost like a half a sandwich, right? But just have a nice bite and tell me what you think about That's good. Turkey's the same. What kind of cheese is this? So I just have some uh, goat cheese in there because goat cheese is gonna be better than cow cheese. It's a smaller molecular structure and since um, your blood type says okay with goat cheese, so we're gonna go ahead and let that as a go, okay? Okay. So look at that, all right? We've got this lunch over here that has probably about, like, what would you say? Somewhere around 20 sugar cubes, but this one was four. Now, okay, you might be saying, wow, I never knew that all this turned into sugar. And so I'd say to you, well, even if I put a little lemon in there and put a little straw in there, would you be willing to keep your lunch? Because this is what you do. You'd be drinking it as that, or would you be really willing to have a swap out? I'd be willing to swap it out. I think this is really sweet, right? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Horribly sweet, right? 
And you wouldn't do that because you'd say, oh my gosh, how could I possibly take 15 to 20 sugar cubes in any drink? So it makes it really easy to say yes to change. What do you think? Yes. One of the things that everybody always wants is a little something that's sweet. And usually around, let's just say 3, 30, 4 o'clock, we start to dip down in our energy. And we want you to be a fat burn, which means that we don't want insulin in your blood. So I want you to do a fat snack because fat you can create an insulin spike and you continue to use fat for fuel. Now, if you ate this, you'd produce insulin and you'd shut off your ability to use fat for fuel in between your meals. So we want it to be keto adaptive, in and out of ketosis. Okay. So we're gonna not have that, but I would like you to try my little special vegan cheesecake. And it has maybe, I would say, four carbohydrates in compared to your say 12 to 15 here and it has a pretty i'd say almost 30 grams of fat so your brain's gonna light up and it's gonna be very happy and have good clear memory ready for when you ready get for the work. afternoon absolutely so i'd like you to just taste that and tell me what you think about that all right mm. chocolate on the bottom carbon and chocolate yeah that one actually has some on the yeah. Pretty good, huh? Dynamite. So you have something like that, the brain immediately has a sense of satisfaction because it's really good, healthy fats and there's no up and down with blood sugar. So high five, Dave. This has been an awesome afternoon. All right. Thank you, Liliana.